What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. There's a lot of under the hood differences between uh, this generation iPhone, the 6S, the 6S Plus, and the last generation. If you wanna know everything that's new about this current gen of phones, watch this video right here. Uh, but today I'm gonna focus on 3D touch, or more commonly referred to as force touch, show you what it can do uh, and what it can't do in the most current iteration of iOS 9. Uh, so the first thing, you could have your wallpaper come to life. You can use a live photo. Uh, to make it do some things. We got Brandon right here. And you can see Brando walking around. Uh, so let me go ahead and swap in an iPhone 6S Plus real fast. I can walk you guys through what it's like to use 3D Touch and what it does or doesn't do. Uh, so the first thing is the difference between just tapping the screen and getting the little icon to jiggle and rearrange them versus actually doing a force touch. Uh, and a force touch, you really have to put pressure in to make it register. And when you do it, you get a little bit of vibration haptic feedback. Uh, so right now, the apps that are working are primarily Apple's first party apps, but hopefully third parties will get access to these APIs and start developing new features. And you can already see some of those apps, like Instagram, for example, takes advantage of it. So let me show you on the phone app, for example. It's the one that I'm gonna use the most often. So if I go ahead and push all the way down, I can take my finger off. You don't have to keep your finger on the screen and drag three people that I call most, and I can create a new contact right from there. And if you want to get out of it, you can just tap it. Uh, Apple calls all these things you can do inside of Force Touch, peek and pop. So you can peek inside of an app, and if you want to, you can pop right into it. So let me give you a few other examples of things that you can do, at least right now, uh, with it. Uh, let's jump into photos, for example. If I go ahead and do a Force Touch there, I can see my most recent favorites, uh, or one year ago, uh, for search. As I mentioned, third-party apps are starting to work. So if I go ahead and go to Instagram, for example, do a little Force Touch action, I can get a quick view of what I can do, so a new post, view activity, search, uh, or send a direct message. And one of the things that's hard to show uh, on video is how much pressure I'm pushing down. You really gotta apply a decent amount of pressure to make the force touch work, and the screen does recognize it, recognize it almost perfectly each time. So Apple's language for 3D touch is peek and pop. You go ahead and open a message, for example. If I do one force touch, I can peek and see a map, and if I push a little harder, I can pop right into maps. Anytime you get an address, you wanna look up a word, you can do things like that, and it jumps you right in. So again, if you wanna open up an address and you wanna just see it real quickly, do a quick tap, and you can hold it down, and you push harder, and go ahead and jump right into the Maps application. It's definitely new, it take a little bit of getting used to it and to figure out how much pressure or not pressure uh, to apply, but it does work uh, and work pretty well. Think of 3D Touch as almost giving you another button without having to put a physical button on the screen. If I was in the camera app, for example, and I wanted to add something new, I can just push that down. You can see maybe where the future is going. Uh, perhaps that Touch ID button is gonna go away in favor of maybe a totally touch-sensitive panel that can also detect fingerprints uh, in the next generation of the iPhone or maybe a few generations away. Uh, but right now, it's an exciting, uh, albeit not overly useful addition to the phone. Uh, but hopefully over the next weeks and months, uh, that can change. Uh, that was a real quick demonstration of what exists right now with 3D Touch. Gaming is something I'm really excited about uh, with 3D Touch. Be able to zoom in with the scope by doing a harder press. Uh, something that could be pretty cool. Maybe take this platform uh, to the next level as far as mobile gaming goes. Anyway, what do you guys think? Love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave the comments down below. Till next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you next video. Bye-bye.